Thank you once again, the wonderful people of Mount Kenya East and the people of Embu for hosting us here. Uh, my dear sister, Dr. Esther Moria, the PS uh, State Department for Tibet, Honorable Cecil Mbarira, Governor um, of this beautiful county of Embu, the land of opportunities. Um, uh, county Commissioner, uh, the entire Ngao family and my own team at Diaspora, Ambassador Kabira, Irene Karari and the rest of the team and the various MDAs and partners are present here at this amazing Diaspora Jobs Fair or Kazi Maju Mashinani. Distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen and the great people of County, Ham uh, County of Embu Hamjambo. Hamjambo. I'm honored to join you here um, at this Moy Stadium for this Mount Kenya uh, East Job Fair, an exhibition that began on Wednesday the 12th and is ending this afternoon. This endeavor really is a statement to the government of Kenya's response to a real issue. Moy Moy Stadium for this Mount Kenya uh, East Job Fair, an exhibition that began on Wednesday the 12th and is ending this afternoon. This endeavor really is a statement to the government of Kenya's response to a real issue for the government of Kenya's commitment to young people um, embraces the phrase, you put your money where your mouth is. 30% of our budget already goes to education. That means every collect 30% our young people. Therefore, it is the natural next step to ensure that after we have invested that heavily in our young people, we have opportunities for them. Where then do they go after they have um, spent the years of learning and after as a government we have um, spent these resources educating them? Before I continue, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to share one or two things about the incredible success that we have had with the previous Kazi Maju um, Diaspora Jobs Fair that we had in Meru County last month. Last month or two months ago? Two months ago. Last month. The months are flowing into each other. While we had a little bit of a 2,000 people appearing, I am aware that about 10% of those have already received job offers. This is a commitment or an... This is an incentive for the young people in the Mount Kenya East region to actually show up for these things because they work. People have already found opportunities, people have found their passports, and very soon, I think the MC... Uh, where is the MC from Samburu? Or, or Ma, Samburu Mwitu? Um, the MC at the Meru event kept saying after here what we're talking about what are they called? International, inter, international departures is what they said in various airports. So these things are beginning to come, through, to come true. Um, so I'm very excited to hear that so far 8,000, actually the number that my team has updated me just now is 8,494 young people have already walked through these doors and are getting service. And by the time we close, I'm sure we are going to close closer to the 10,000 mark. And that will be a fantastic thing for the people of this region. So um, this is the second job fair, as you've heard, and we're very excited to be hosted here by the people of Embu. Um, as you've also heard, I probably did not have much of a choice because uh, your daughter of the soil, P.S. Moria, um, after she came and supported us very, very strongly in Meru, quite simply demanded that we would come and host the next one here in Embu. So you have her to thank. Um, for these opportunities. In these fairs, we hope and expect an incredible exchange of opportunities, of talent, and of information. When we set out to do the first Diaspora Jobs Fair, we were addressing a specific issue. How do we take Kazi Maju to the people of Kenya? How do we get them to understand what it actually takes to take up a job as a driver in Azerbaijan? or as a, as a housekeeper in Uzbekistan. I mean, 
sensitize, have a conversation with the various young people available. And the enthusiasm of the young people and the positive we receive in Meru then encourage out here in Embu and as I have said and as I said earlier, other region in the next region is going where we'll be rolling out um Not. Okay, so I want to say thank you, my dear sister Esther Moore, not been supportive, but has been a real partner in this journey um, as we put together these job fairs. And very with the TVETs. I have become uh, very familiar with the TVETs within the region and elsewhere because of the hard work that she has put in. I also want to thank you, Governor. Uh, sincerely for hosting us here in Embu, for mobilizing all of these young people together with um, the county commissioner and the Ngao fraternity, for mobilizing all of these young people, and also for the commitment that you made here that the county government is going to support the young people, particularly to pursue language skilling uh, as far as German language is concerned, and all of the other places that the county government of Embu is actually putting money in to ensure that young people can take out these opportunities. So I want to thank you for that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, the State Department for Diaspora Affairs is one of the newest state departments in this country. We are just 19 months old, having been set up in December 2022, um, and we started off with a six-point mandate that has now grown into a nine-point mandate that is largely about championing the rights and welfare of Kenyans abroad, promoting continuous dialogue with Kenyans abroad, supporting Kenyans in the diaspora to harness opportunities for employment and enterprise development, to develop an incentive framework for remittances, and the um, uh, Excellency here mentioned that diaspora remittances are actually the highest foreign exchange honor um, for this country. Let me just take a minute to say what that means. Last year alone, $4.2 billion was received from Kenyans who live abroad. And these are the figures that we are able to track and count through the Central Bank of Kenya. A lot of other money in terms of remittances comes through that we've not been able to track. That figure of $4.2 billion is higher than all the forex that is received from coffee, from tea, from horticulture, from tourism, from all our traditional forex honors, just because young people have dared to go abroad and work and then send money home to support their families or to invest. So this is really important work that we are doing. We also set up to harness diaspora savings, facilitate uh, investment and technology transfer, to mainstream the Kenyan diaspora in the process of national development, to work with the Ministry of Labor to secure placement of Kenyans abroad, and that's what we are working on today, and uh, working with labor and other stakeholders to roll out the labor migration policy and the global labor strategy, which is what we are rolling out here as well, um, and then to promote the participation of Kenyans in the diaspora in the democratic processes. A big part of our job is Adam Kienda Maju to make sure that you're able to vote wherever you will be. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the government of Kenya's commitment to address unemployment through labor migration is holistic and it takes a whole of government approach, as P.S. Moria already, already said. When we um, assumed office in December, and very early, one of the things that His Excellency the President about a structured approach to helping Kenyans find job opportunities abroad. So we were brought to a number of state departments, the State Department for Diaspora, the State Department for Foreign Affairs, the State Department for Labor, uh, State Department for Immigration, um, TVET, um, among others, including youth, and we're told to come up with something that is the government's response to this idea of labor migration. And after a lot of meetings, some of them very heated, um, we came up with what is now called the Global Labor Market Strategy. A part of that strategy is these machinani engagements that bring sensitization or information to Kenyans machinani and then help them to take up opportunities abroad. The different actors have different roles in this Global Labor Market Strategy. A big part of our job as diaspora is actually to identify the jobs 
find the spaces available abroad and then to connect them with TVET and with others so that we can structure our training to be targeted to the markets where we are going um, and so on. So we have rolled out this global labor market strategy. It has allowed us to map out various um, labor markets and this is why early in my conversation with the governor and P.S. Moria we were explaining what the different uh, parts of the world need, what is needed in Germany, what is needed in Israel, what is needed um, in, in Canada, what is needed in Oman and so on. Um, it has already been said that Kenya has an extremely youthful population. In fact, the median age of Kenyans is 19, and this number remains consistent across the entire continent. That means that you're more likely to meet than any other person. In other parts of the world, particularly in Europe, the median age is 44, 48, 43, and so on. If you pause a little bit to ponder what that means, is that the problems that we have here of unemployment or youthful problems are not the same ones that we have abroad. Abroad, they have problems that they cannot find enough waiters to serve you breakfast. So if you go to a, a hotel in some of these places, uh, room service is not available. Or if you go to Mkahawa Kidogo, Nangoja Chai, you will wait quite a long time. And the person who serves you might be a 60-year-old man, 60-year-old woman, and so on. They don't have people to staff the creative industries because that is usually something that young people do. Their capacity to develop as far as ICT is concerned is constrained because, once again, ICT is one of those things that come with a youthful population. If you have a very old population, what are some of your biggest needs? Health care. And support work. That means you don't have enough nurses, you don't have enough orderlies and other healthcare staff and so on. And so whether government intervenes or not, these push and pull factors exist and we're going to continue to see young people moving towards these opportunities. So then we had to ask ourselves as a government that is a government primarily of a country that has young people, how do you respond both to the challenges of your time but to the opportunities that you find? yourselves in, and this is what we came up with. So um, some of the things that we've done apart from this is also putting together the Kazi Maju portal, which is going to be live soon. And what the Kazi Maju portal will do is for all the young people who are unemployed, who are looking for opportunities abroad, they will go to a government portal and put in their details. And we will have listed a number of opportunities available, and then you can connect directly. Ladies and gentlemen, We've already talked about why this is important as far as beta is concerned. Um, so as I mentioned again, I want to encourage the people of the Mount Kenya East region to take advantage. We still have a few hours for them to come through and be able um, to, to get services here. Let me also say really quickly that the services offered here are free of charge. Kwa hivyo kama kuna mtu ameambiwa mahali alipe job fair. Or you've been asked to pay some money for services that are available here. If you would please kindly let us know because that is not part of the agreement. The agreement is that you will, we, we are offering these services for free. The diaspora officers who are here, if you could please stand. If you have found any, so this is my army and there's many more they are the back where we have uh, the State Department for Diaspora Affairs booth. If you have trouble, particularly if somebody is asking that you pay a certain fee to access this event, any of these young men and women is going to be able to help you. Thank you very much, team. You can clap for them. And as I'm giving warnings, let me also say two more things. Ensure always that you work with registered agents. The ones who are here, whether they're, whether they're recruiting for regular jobs or they're recruiting for maritime jobs, all of the people we have brought, we have made sure, are licensed by the National Employment Authority or the Kenya Maritime Authority. 
So if you find a job opportunity abroad that is being advertised by somebody, you need to check the National Employment Authority website and confirm that the agency that is recruiting you is actually registered and licensed. Or the KMA, or it is registered and licensed by KMA. Because we have seen also a lot of rogue agents um, doing bad business and that has not gone well. So please always ensure that you work with a licensed uh, agencies. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and kindly let me ask the Ngao officers as well to please, 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 Mtilie Hili Jambo Mkazo Sana, especially in your barazas and in your meetings, please help us pass this information around. What we see at the State Department for Diaspora Affairs, especially when people work with unlicensed agents, is that they end up in a lot of distress in other countries, and then we have to come and help them. Tafadhali, tafadhali. Thank you very much, Ngao, and thank you, uh, good people. So as I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, it is important that we continue to look globally for the opportunities that exist there. Um, I wanted to say something about passports, but that has already been addressed both by P.S. Moria and by the governor, but just to say that we have commitment from P.S. Bitok, who's a P.S. for immigration, that anybody who's looking for a passport for labor migration, we are putting you at the top of the list. Quite simply, we will facilitate those passports so that people can um, move and be able to find these opportunities. When you do succeed and you end up on the other side, in the diaspora, ensure that you register with us through eCitizen. You can register as a diasporian through eCitizen and let us know where you are so that we can support you. Do not go and fall through the cracks and only come to us if you're in trouble. Just register so that we can invite you to events, so we can send you information and so on. But please ensure that once you become a diasporian, you register with us so that then we're able to work together with our embassies to bring you mobile consular services and be able to serve you better. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to express my gratitude to all the MDAs here, the county government, uh, who have worked very hard to making this job fair a success. Um, particularly, as I said, to the elected leaders and to Ngao for mobilizing such good numbers. You can prepare a feast and people refuse to come. You really can. So thank you very much for coming to the feast. Together, let us continue to build a prosperous and inclusive Kenya where every citizen has the chance to succeed and to contribute to our national development. Asante Nisana.